Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. The Secretary of Veterans Affairs announced the VA will award nearly $300 million in grants, which will help approximately 120,000 homeless and at-risk veterans and their families. The Supportive Services for Veteran Families, or SSVF, program supports VA's efforts to prevent at-risk veterans from becoming homeless and rapidly rehouse those who have recently fallen into homelessness. For more on this story, visit AFLINK. The Air Force uses drones as realistic training tools for pilots. Airman First Class Ariel Tomlinson takes us to Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona, where an F-16 is in its first stage of becoming a drone. Members of the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group on Davis Monthan Air Force Base are doing their part to create the next generation of full-scale aerial target drones. We are regenerating the F-16s out of storage. These are going to be the, uh, the drones and they are uh, for realistic training for the pilots. Pilots currently use QF-4s for their training, which are made from 1960s F-4 Phantoms. This is going to give the, the, the pilots a, a more up-to-date and realistic uh, combat environment and uh, they'll be able to, to do maneuvers and, and uh, flight training that have not been done before. There are currently 210 F-16s lined up to be converted into drones in the next 10 years. Airman First Class Ariel Tomlinson, Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona. To see more Air Force Broadcasting Service products, follow us on Twitter at Air Force TV. For more on today's top stories, visit the Air Force's official website, AFLINK. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.